welcome back to Fishing with Vance. Um, today it's going to be a boat mod day. Um, didn't go fishing this morning, but uh, what I wanted to talk about today is um, I want to put some additional tie downs uh, for when I'm for the Pelican Bass Raider for whenever I'm traveling back and forth to the lake. And the issue I'm having right now, and I'm sure there's lots of other ways I could go about this is clear that off there but anyway there's lots of different ways i could go about this so what i decided to do to for this problem let me show you what the problem is before i get into what i want to do all right so here's my pelican bass raider 10 and it's riding on a gray con or i'm sorry a caravan trailer so it works great i love this trailer can't say anything bad about it on the way out to the lake we use ratchet straps to tie down the seats, the table, and underneath the battery. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the battery is on a platform just based on where my motor connects, uh, both motors sometimes, but generally one motor, and then we have the wires running through the middle for Anderson connectors. But anyway, so the battery's in the middle, and I, I had issues where that thing would be jumping up and down on the way to the on the way to the lake. So I have it on a platform and I have it strapped down and then I ratchet strap it down also. But in doing that, and then of course this last seat, in doing that, it does push the table, it, I'm sorry, it does push, yes, push the table down, but also pushes the boat down. It pushes it down against um, the trailer. And, you know, as long as I'm not going Dukes of Hazard, quote my partner, doing Billy Bronco, it's generally fine. Now, where I, where I have issues sometimes is if I just go with go fishing by myself and there's only one seat. So when there's only one seat, there's one less tie down unless I go ahead and just tie the boat down again, ratchet strap the boat down, which I have been doing. The issue is, is by the time I get to the lake, I've noticed sometimes, and here I just went fishing yesterday, that this boat is wanting to slide off of here. Because, yeah, there's probably a little bit more weight in that direction. Um, possibly uh, the motors or the batteries may be shoved back that way a little bit. Um, but, and this isn't too bad, it's slid back a little bit. And But I've gotten out there and it's has slid back that far. So, you know, we started putting these, these bungee cords on, or I did, just as almost like a safety chain thing. And it probably would keep it from flying off there. I don't know if it would sliding all the way off probably not so thinking back that's the issue so thinking back to when I had my uh, I had a blue bass boat uh, an old hydrosport and um, I was thinking about how I used to put on the transom straps in the back so I thought all right I could come up with something where I get rid of the bungee cords and transit strap down this to this and I'm sure I probably could have bought basic transom straps and put those on. But, of course, I can't do anything simple. So, I saw this product when I was looking for transom straps that wasn't available when I had my blue boat. And, excuse me, and it's known as the boat buckle. And uh, this thing looks pretty cool. It's a retractable ratcheting tie-down. These things are made for transoms. Yeah, it's a mini transom. So I picked up a couple of these. This, these are the small version. I think these are called the G3s. Um, these are the smallest ones they had because again, I don't really need anything too strong, just enough to, you know, put that, hold that boat from sliding back. And I want something simple. Again, get out to the lake. You don't want to be fooling around with a bunch of a bunch of straps and a bunch of things that keep you from getting on the water as quick as you can. So. Here they are. Here's the boat buckles. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these boat buckles. I'm going to install these onto. Let me show you. This is the plan anyway. The idea is this is going to hook on here, and I'm going to go ahead and mount this belt buckle. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Boat buckle right there on my trailer, and then put it on there ratchet a couple times and that will never go anywhere so that's what i'm gonna do stay tuned hope it works out okay i don't have my partner in crime with me today the high life 
but uh, I'm going to tackle this one on my own. Stay tuned. Let's see how this mod goes for the Pelican Bass Raider on FishingWithVance.com. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drill a, um, I want to drill a 3 8 inch hole for these to secure this buckle. So, I'm going to get out my 3 8 drill bit with the old the old Makita cordless drill and see how that goes. Uh, we got my socket set. All I'm going to put on here is, like I said, the three agents bolts, and I got a couple of washers and a few lock nuts. So. That's what the instructions showed for how to secure this pup. So let's go drill the holes, see what happens. All right guys, so looking for a good spot to put this. I believe I'm gonna want as much of the back of this beyond here as possible. So, however, I don't want that hole to be too far down, so oh, this goes. All right, guys, got the hole in there. That wasn't the easiest thing to do. Uh, probably need a corded drill, be a little more powerful. Uh, but slow and steady wins the race. There's the hole. Let's see if we can buckle this guy on and see it's what we want before we put another hole in the trailer. Be right back. All right, guys, let's see how this works. Let's put these guys in here. We got a bolt. Washer, the lock nut. See how this goes. Okay. So first of all, see if this will go through. And it will. So now this, this. It's gonna work. All right, grab a couple of these bucks. Then we get the fan running, and uh, they're still flying around. Apologize for the noise of the fan, but it's 90 degrees today here in PA, so uh, I got the Air King blasting around, and the door open to try to keep some air in here. Just you know, just saying. Anywho, all right. No, don't need that over here, Jasper. Alright, All right, so hold this guy on here. Partner High Life would say she ain't going anywhere. I don't want to pop by that, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> I think we got something here, kids. So let's see how we like it. 
There's the boat buckle installed down there. We're gonna get rid of this. My, my partner highlights favorite thing, bungee cords. I'm sure we'll be depressed, but hey. So now this boat needs to be slid forward. See, it would already slid back. That's how it would be. So you get out there. I believe this thing is retractable, but you press the release, put the whole thing up, put it on there. Crank it down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, High Life's gonna like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Probably could make it angle this way a little bit. Yeah, it's like that. Tighten that down a little bit more at an angle. Oh, I like that, kids. That's exactly what I was looking to do. And again, get out to the lake, pop that up, hit the release. I think if you hit the release, yeah, off it goes. You're done. You turn it down and you're done. All right, let me try that again. So, get out to the lake. You gotta press the release, put it all the way up, boom, like that, all the way down, then crank it down, it's on there. When you want to get to the lake, press the pull up, hit the release, pull it all the way up, retracts off and you're off you go. Oh man, I love that. I love it. All right, but I definitely like it angled. Hope you can see that. I definitely like it angled because when you hit the release, put it up. It's easy to at that angle. It's not pinching it. And then you just crank her down like that. Now she's good to travel. You get to the lake. Boom. Boom. Oh. oh man so there it is the boat buckle for modified on the caravan trailer for the pelican bass raider so that's gonna be it for this video I'm gonna put the other one on the other side you don't need to watch me rinse and repeat but there it is the boat buckle I'm pumped up I'm gonna I can't wait to use this maybe I'll go out fishing with it tomorrow see what happens Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do. I know it's a little different video. Lots of fishing videos going on right now because obviously we're doing a lot of fishing. But today, it's a little hot. I had some other stuff to do, so I thought I'd put my boat buckle on. But stay tuned for all the fishing videos. Carp, catfish, bass, of course, and uh, everything on this Pelican Bass Raider. So I hope you enjoyed the little uh, Pelican Bass Raider mod today. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time on fishingwithvance.com. Bow out.